time ever. You know, his dad's an alcoholic and just um, being turned down. You know, he had to take that rejection and he explained it in the way of Darwin. And it was fun, you know. You are in this movie with Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman, Jason Robarts, Alex Rocco, Piper Laurie, Susan Blake, Lee Meredith Salinger, and Harry Dean Stanton. It just goes on and on. Wonderful cast. Um, it's my third movie with Corey. Elephant Kid, because I had my head root canal, and I was at the here instead of the Elephant Man. I had all these different names, you know. Hey, come here, Elephant Boy, you know. Or can one day there was an agent there at my agency in Toronto. There, uh, Stanley Jaffe and Cherry Lansing were down there um, with Michael Apted, the director of this movie from Paramount, and I just got the part. And ever since then, I've just dream. Nice to I meet you. I enjoyed you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Thanks, Corey. I read the Lost Boys script <clears throat> and then just said, you know, this is a movie. This is like a teenage, 19 to like 25 vampire, like, great beach surf Nazi movie. You know, it was everything. Lost Boys, I'm going big time. Mm -hmm. This is this is just what I think. This is what a lot of people think, you know. They think Lost Boys, well, I think, number one, Lost Boys is going to go down in history. As far as what I really like in today's music... Um, I'm into the new, I'm into that Japanese funk, um, that pop funk, you know, I think Prince is the future, and a lot of other things. Um, I'm just really into that funky hip pop jam thing. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Sorry. And... I'd have to say the way I'm feeling nowadays would probably be intense, powerful. The way I dress is the way I'm doing my mood. You are what you wear. I wear something different every day. I think maybe 10 years from now, I'm hopefully going to be in Tahiti or something, kicking back like in my huge mansion if everything goes right. It's all to me. Um, just watching the dolphins and the porpoises and the sharks and the little seahorses and all that fun stuff. Go. You know, it's a hard, there's so many obstacles in life and just, you know, it might hurt, you might feel great one minute, you know, there's a lot of feelings while you're growing up, there's a lot of questions you have while you're growing up, and if you take things slow, everything will be answered and everything should work out. In July 2001, Hayne met with E! Entertainment Television and discussed his early career, including a TV well, commercial he did as a child. A yeah. His comments were close to incomprehensible. One was for, um, and it was below zero. I mean, you know, Toronto, you know, winter. Um, uh, extra, extra, read all about it, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh. Producers asked Haim what happened during that first interview. Just things weren't going my way that day. Lucas, everybody was like, oh, you know, eh, he's so cute. He's such a little nerdy kind of guy, you know. And the Silver Bullet, I was in a chair, you know, and the time to live, I was also, I had muscular dystrophy. You know, I portrayed a kid who was dying. His mom was freaking out. You know, so this is um, pretty much my first chance to people just say, hey, you know, 
he's a dude, <laughs> you know, gnarly. Wait, there's Corey Haim. Corey Haim, come here for a second. He's in the movie with me. This is Corey Haim. He was in Lost Boys. Him. And he was in the movie <laughs> License to Drive, which is coming out in August. And we're doing that movie together, too. Yep. 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 Anyway, so me and Jason changed bodies. And this is my best friend. His name is Dinger <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> and um, I've got long black hair in the movie. They're going to put extensions on, so it's like two inches longer. <laughs> thank you. This is my hairstyle. It's, it's beautiful. Ah, thank you. I'm kind of letting it grow out. It's kind of green copper now. How did ladies respond to it? Um... Wow, it's wild hair, man. Yeah, I kind of put some ornaments on it um, and got one present for three, you know, celebrational times of the year, and I kind of got jipped, so. That's t I would yeah. lie about my birthday. Uh, I'd be like, you know, January 27th. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why don't you single? Really? Love, yeah, loving it. It's this movie um, that has this old couple, Jason Robarts mm -hmm. and Piper Laurie. Okay. And they own this house, and, um, you know, they're, they're your average typical couple. And it's me and Corey Feldman and like, you know, William McNamara, you know, all these kids. And we take a shortcut to school and unfortunately it's through their back lawn, you know. Okay. And um, Jason is trying to intersect with the dream state um, while he's away so he can live longer with his wife, you know. Really? Corey's ladder of love. And it tells things about you I don't think we want to know. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, but I guess the, the girls want to know this kind of stuff like you have a waterbed. I had a waterbed. And, um, you know, it's just an old thing. What's next for you? Um, well, what was next for me was this uh, flick called Watchers. Corey um, Haim. I think I'm a good kisser. Oh, I think. It didn't work You're out that way. Kisser. Steady <laughs> diet of the wisdom of Corey Haim. I get a lot of calls. It's wonderful, man. It's an honor to have, I hope, the influence as well as the um, recognition. Dab, 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 dab. <laughs> little something. Not much. Just a little face. Kept drawing all little faces. 